What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of All Mouth Bassing. Today I'm up at uh, Lake San Isabel with my buddy Scoob. We're up here in his ice hut. We've got a few holes drilled. Uh, we've got some a couple poles each. We've got some wax worms, some regular worms, got some food. We might even get into a catch and cook if we get on some decent trout. So got a decent little day planned for ourselves. Just gonna have some ice fishing and hopefully get some nice little rainbows maybe some tiger trout there's tiger trout in here i've actually never caught one in my life so if i catch a tiger trout that'll be an instant pb so that would be really awesome um, this lake has quite a bit of fish in it it's stocked pretty well and it's got a decent natural population i believe uh it just doesn't have huge fish typically there's some here and there in here but there's not a ton of biggins in here so We'll see what we can do. Hopefully we get on some numbers. Sorry if it's hard to hear me. There's some crazy wind going on out there. But anyway, guys, that's the basic plan. So we're going to get after it and hopefully catch some trout. All right, guys. I think the first thing I'm going to try throwing today is the Swedish pimple. This is a pink one. It's supposed to be a pretty good little ice spoon. So I'm going to find out today. I'm going to throw this on, probably tip it with a waxy or regular worm and see how it goes. Alright guys, we got some pretty active fish on the graph right now. I'm rigged up. I'm going to drop this in a hole. I probably will see you guys if I get a hookup. I think I'm going to cut the video now, but I will be with you guys if I get on a fish. Scoob's already on a fish. We've been here about 10 minutes worth of fishing, maybe 15. Decent little bow. Hell yeah. Alright. First one of the day. Well guys, I accidentally just deleted a clip of Scoob catching a trout, but we decided to hang on to it and we're gonna do a little catch and cook. Hopefully we catch a few more so it's more than just a snack. But uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we should get on some. I might actually switch baits pretty soon here though. Okay guys, now I've got a little piece of red worm tipped onto a small jig it's a little glow jig with i've got a white destroyer 2 by freedom baits just a tiny little finesse soft plastic worm type deal gonna drop this in there and hopefully something's interested oh, oh fish fish it's gonna get it if you, if you drop it down there all right guys Finally got on one. Took me a second. Decent chunky one for this place. They don't get too big here. But alright, so we got two now for the catch and cook. Hell yeah. Alright guys, my first ice trout of the year. Let's go. Alright guys, the Destroyer 2 pulled through. Gonna throw this back in there and hopefully get another bite. Scoob's on another one, pretty one, real pretty one, dark colors. Alright, that's five for the day. Oh, I'm on one, guys. Alright. Alright. That's a better one. Yes, sir. Overall, oh, it's a cut bow, too. Nice. Cool. I think yours might have been a cut bow, too. We didn't really check under the jaw. All right, guys, pretty little cut bow. Pretty long, a little skinny, but long. We'll hang on to that one, too. We got three so far for the catch and cook. Scoob just pulled out another one. We're getting into them now. All right, Scoob got another. Let's go. Okay, guys, here's that trout I just caught. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple fillets made up out of these three we have so far. Um, I'm not going to show the fillet process just because YouTube purposes, but it's a pretty simple process. Basically, just going to... Oh, geez, I feel, won't flip around too much. I should have used one of the dead ones to show you. But anyway, you cut down the belly, get all the guts out, cut down behind the gill plate at a diagonal, pop the head off, and then, well, I do that part anyway. I don't like, I don't like filleting them with all the guts in and everything. And then you go down along the spine there, with your knife all the way down and cut right through the ribs get as much meat off the side as you can you don't want to go too far into the belly 
and then if you want you can peel the skin off which I usually do so that's what I'm about to do well guys I was literally just telling Scoob how I was I didn't want to handle the, the fish I was filleting the way I was about to move it and I did what I was saying I didn't want to do and sliced myself immediately so I mean you'll have that I guess <laughs> all right guys I got the fillets all made up I'm gonna go ahead and prepare them to actually get cooked now first thing I'm doing throwing some canola oil on there on the sheet of tin foil I got about a Two and a half three foot long sheet of tin foil here and probably about two foot actually now that i'm looking at it but got six trout fillets well three six depending on how you want to look at it three fish six fillets these darker ones here actually came from the only cut bow we kept and it's interesting to me how much more red it is than the other meat. We got two fillets from one other, the, the rainbows, that's a little darker than the others, but not quite as dark as these ones. The ones from the cut bow were significantly darker, which I found pretty interesting. But anyway, got all the fillets here. Hit these with a quick little layer of canola oil. And I'm gonna go ahead, hit it with some of this Tony Thatcher's. Crioli seasoning. This is pretty much the basic recipe I use for just about any fish I catch. It's the way I like to cook them. Whether I fillet them or cook them whole or whatever, it's still the way I like to do it. But anyway, I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on here. Pretty generous amount. All right, and then I like to throw a little garlic powder on there on top of it. I think the Crioli seasoning actually has some garlic in it, but I like to just throw a little bit of garlic powder on, on top anyway. All right. Now we flip them all over and repeat that process. All right, got them all flipped over. Throw a little more Crioli on there. A little more garlic powder. Okay, now I just wrap it up in the tin foil in a little packet and we'll get it cooking. Alright, guys, got the little tin foil packet set up and I'm ready to throw it on the stove now. We got a low flame going. I'm just going to set it directly on the grill top. That should do the trick. I'm gonna set an alarm for about 18, 19 minutes and I think we'll be good. All right guys, that fish has got about 10 minutes left to cook. I'm still using the Destroyer 2 by Freedom Baits and I've got it tipped on a little glow jig head with a red worm. Gonna drop this back down there and hopefully catch a few more fish. If I could catch one by the time the fish is ready, that would be awesome. Alright, Scoob just pulled in another one. Alright, I think that's 9 or 10 for the day. Hell yeah. Scoob's hooked up again. Another pretty one. This guy. <laughs> All right, we got another one. All right, it's literally been two seconds and Scoob just hooked up with another one already. Awesome. Not a big one, but we'll take it. Scoob's hooked up again. All right, he got him. Got it on the artificial bait. What, what was that by? Uh, high, high Def, I think the brand is called? Yeah. Something like that. That's what Scoob's using right now. Doing pretty good with it. Yep. Alright guys, my alarm's going off. That means our fish should be done. Gonna pull that off there and check on it. Okay guys. 
got our fish all cooked up. Now Scoob and I are going to go ahead and eat it. You want to try a bite, bud? Yeah. See how you like it? Yeah, pretty good. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're going to dig in. All right, guys. That took us all of five minutes to clear. It's pretty good. Scoob, what would you say? Oh, man. Very good. One out of ten? One out of ten. I give it a 10. Oh, hell yeah. yeah that Got that great. 10, boys. Got Let's go. It is crazy windy out right now, guys. But luckily, we got this shelter. And uh, I'm going to throw this same thing I've been throwing around a little bit more now that we're done eating. It's just the, uh, what the heck's it called? The Destroyer 2 by Freedom Baits. And I've got the little worm tip on it still. See if we could catch a couple more here. <laughs> Scoob's on another one. All right, got one more. Let's go. Yeah. Pretty little one. Yeah. Awesome, man. All right, guys. I actually decided to take the red worm off and put a wax worm on. See if I have a little better luck with some waxies. Down. Got him. Nice. Scoops on another one. Beast. Oh. He's bigger. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's fouled up. Oh, no, he's not. He's just oh, wrapped yeah. up. Heck yeah, man. All right. Another one for Scoob on the board. I gotta catch up. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's that? Yep, I'm on one, guys. All right, let's go. Oh, not a bad one, too. Ah, about the same size. Hell yeah, that was a long dry spell, guys. Wow, I'm relieved for this catch. Nice. Right. Oh, 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 sorry, buddy. Well, he's back in the hole. He flopped right out of my hands. My bad, guys. Quicker these. Woo. Yeah. Always something. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. I went ahead and threw a new waxy on because that last catch ripped it off. Gonna get back in there. Oh. All right, let's go. Another one. That's got to be close to 30 for the day. I mean, Scoob caught 20, oh, fish, fish, 25 fish of them. On you. Yes, sir. Did I get it? Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. All right. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a decent one, too. Nice. Oh, it's oh. just fired up. It's not that big. Oh, it's a oh that's fish. not bad. Oh, yeah. Bounced them off the uh, stove a little bit. My bad, bud. Get a little water here. All right. All right. All right. Settle down, guy. Relax. This one is fired up. Wow. Okay. Okay. There's some more down there. Wilding out. All right, guys, check that out. Beautiful little fish. Nice. Not, oh, that's a pretty one. Not a monster or anything, but I'll take it any day. Let's go. Scoob just missed one. But all right, guys, I still got the destroyer on, but I decided yeah. to put on a chunk of red worm. Scoob, oh, oh, Scoob just missed one, though, unfortunately. Again, missed it twice. But uh, I'm going to drop this in there with the chunk of red worm. Got the destroyer with the same jig head. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I could get on a couple more bites. This has been pretty fun so far today. There's fish down there. Fish oh, yeah. Oh, Mark's there. Scoob's on another one. What a beast. Tell you what, this guy's figuring out this ice fishing thing. I know we're at San Isabel, so the yeah. numbers are there, but still. Still fun. He's a boss. Catches triple what I catch. <laughs> Let's go, man. Another pretty little one. Hell yeah. All right, Scoob. Let's go. Awesome, man. Scoob's hooked up again. Oh, oh quick release. <laughs> it was landed. Yeah. <laughs> Good deal. All right, guys. I went ahead and I'm just keeping the same jig head on, but I put on a wax worm instead of the red worm. I think I'll have a little better luck. They seem to like these better today. Oh, 
Oops, Scoop stole it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's a decent one. Jeez, yeah. Came out of the water flapping. Nice. Pretty decent one. Came out hot. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. He's on another one. That was literally two seconds after the last one. Nice, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, let's go. So many fish today. <laughs> I just missed one and Scoop just hooked up with it. Story of the day. Story of the day. That's how it's been going. All right, awesome. There's another one for Scoob. Sure, it's gotta be 30 by now. I just missed one, but it might come back. Sounds under me. Oh, I missed it again. I just missed a fish twice, guys. Oh, and I missed it. He's gonna hit you. He's still there. Oh, come on. He's going down a little. He's coming back up. Oh, I missed him again, guys. Got him. Scoob got him. But it's been going. Whoa, I don't nice. know. I don't know how to set a hook on trout, guys. Look, it's coming after you. Nice. There we go. Still got another one. Oh, what? I missed another one, guys. There it is. It. No, I missed it again. How? This doesn't make sense. Like that time, I know I didn't overset it. That's why I like to just wait for. Oh, here comes something, something big in the in the shelf. Got him. Oh no! How, oh, he's there. He's there. Get him. All right. Yeah, I got him, go. guys. Let's go. Oh, not a bad one. Nice. Oh, that's the best of the day, yep. maybe. Oh, that might be the best of the day. One hundred percent. Oh, that's a decent one. All right. That's not a bad one. That's a good okay. catch. Man. That's a sixteen. Yeah, probably. Seventeen, maybe. No, I'd say sixteen. 16. Probably a good sixteen incher. Finally, I got a decent one. I mean, I'm not really going for size today. Usually come up here expecting numbers over size here, but all right, guys, I'm excited. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. All right, Scoob's on one, guys. I got to get this decent rainbow back in the water. All right. Nice, Scoob. Oh, oh, and <laughs> Scoob auto-released auto that one accidentally. But all right, awesome, guys. Getting on some fish again. All right, guys, got another waxy tipped on there. Gonna get that back down there and hopefully get a couple more. Where am I at down there? Am I even down there? You're not moving. Your string, you're just pulling. Oh. Should be. Maybe not. There you are, way deep. You're past the marker, 16. Oh, so. okay. Cool, oh yeah, now I see it. Yep, cool. All right, guys, I just took another one. Just a couple minutes after the last one. Not quite as big, but I'll take it. Woo, wild one. <laughs> They come out of this, like, fired up. They're not huge, but they come out hot. Alright, guys. He almost slipped out of my hand. Another little nice. trout. Let's get him back in. They are fired up right now. Yes, sir. Alright, guys. That last trout chewed up my mealworm or my uh, waxworm pretty good, but I'm going to send it back out anyway. Got him. Scoob just got one. I knew it, we knew it was about to bite because it just missed us both like three times. That thing was hungry, and I think there's some more on the screen yeah. still. All right, well, Scoob got another. Chew, crazy how many fish this man gets up here. Okay, I'm on one, guys. Decent one, decent one. Nice. Eh, meh, not that good. Fighter. Oh, nice. Hard fighter. Ouch, 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 ouch. 
Poor buddy was hooked good, but anyway. Nice. Got another one? Oh uh, yeah. Let's get back in the water. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> Almost looked like he wasn't gonna go down for a sec, but he's good. Hell yeah. Alright guys, I got my wax worm stolen on that last bite again, so got this new one tied on. Or not tied on, on, rigged on. Look at that. Gonna drop it in. Oh yeah. There's some nice fish on the radar again, so let's see what we could do here. Got him? Yep. Nice. Alright, I'm hooked up guys. Alright. Let's go. Got him. Nice. Yes, sir. Cool, guys. Another little rainbow. Let's get it back in the water. Oh, splash me right in the face. Should swim down. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Just missed one, guys. Oh, oh, I missed him again. I just missed one twice. Come on, come back. Oh, oh, there it was again. He left. Oh, no, it was still there. Missed twice. I missed four times. It's good, go. Go figure. <laughs> How many times has that happened today? I don't know why I can't set a hook on a trout, and it's not my hook. My hook is razor sharp. All right, it's another one down. All right, I actually decided to tie on the Swedish pimple spoon again. Got it tipped with a little wax worm. Drop her back in there and hopefully get on something here. Okay, that's me way down there. Oh, got it. On one, guys. Yep. Oh, and it spit oh. me. That was a good one. I got to get back down there. That was a good fish, guys. Man. I think it's on me again already. Yeah. Oops, good missed it. Got him? On him. Nice. Oh, a decent one. Nice. All right. <laughs> Shoo. Let's go. Still catching them all day long. All right, this guy's ready to go, guys. It took me a sec to get off the hook. There it goes. All right, guys, that one was nice enough to leave me my worm, too, so I still got my wax worm. Finally got one on the Swedish pimple today. They seem to really like it. Earlier, it just wasn't the move, but sometimes that's how it is. You try something at one time of the day and they just aren't interested and then you try it later in the day and they're all about it. I've experienced that plenty of times. Wow! I wasn't ready for that bite. <laughs> that came out of nowhere and that's a good one. Wow! Nice. That's a really decent one. Nice. That's fighting. Oh wow, maybe not that good. Oh, it's hooked funky. That's why. It's hooked like in the chin here. Wow, this fish is ready to go. Let's get it back in. Awesome. Hell yeah. Let's go, dude. Okay, guys, the radar is lit up. I've got a Swedish pimple on still, but this time I decided to put a red worm on there and see if that does, well, not does better. I'm doing pretty decent with the Swedish pimple, but see if the red worm does any good, I should say. Actually, I'm pulling this back up quick, because never mind, we're good. For a sec, I thought, when I dropped it for a sec, I thought that its, uh, it's hooks were, like, tangled, but they're not. Oh, damn, that dropped faster than I was ready for. I think I'm already getting chased. Yep, on one. Wow, they like this Swedish pimple. This is the move right now, apparently. Wow, guys, this is awesome. One on top of another. You're doing your, your hook sets a lot better, too. Yeah, I quit, I quit hook setting them like they were best. Rude trout, you are rude. I guess I'd be too if I had a hook in my face. There we go. Cut you up a little bit, my bad. Alright guys, another little rainbow. Get back in there and get some more. You'll find it, bud. There we go. <laughs> he was having a hard time finding the exit. 
All right, that one left me my worm too, so we'll get it back in there. Nice. On one. Decent one. Or no, he's just fighting. Oh, oh sorry, yeah. Bob. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. That's oh, nice. my gloves. Nice. Gotta take my gloves off. Oh, jeez. Gotta take my gloves off quick. He's tweaking. He's tweaking. He's tweaking. Okay. All right, guys. Another decent rainbow. One of the better ones of the day. Oh, yeah. Probably top three, top five for sure. Nice. All right, <laughs> guys. Scoop was just about to give up. He literally just pulled his line out, and then I looked back at the radar, and I was like, "Oh man!" Right when you pull your line out, something comes up at four foot. He drops in there, and sure enough, gets hit once, misses. Got on his last shot of the night. I know it's getting pretty dark. You guys can't, can't see very well, but there it is. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Too. Oh, you got it back in the hole. <laughs> Watch this. Cool. Oh, Let's there's another. another one. He might get another. I might drop back in quick too. I think I took my. Yeah, I took my tip off my bait, but that's okay. Let's see what happens. They seem to like the spoon anyway. I feel completed. <laughs> Alright, I'm done too. You're right. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching another episode and thank you so much for sticking around till the end. If you enjoy my content, please go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Every bit of support does help so much. So thank you guys for any continued support. As you guys could see, that was an awesome time today. Scoob and I caught probably, I'd say at least 50 fish between the two of us. He caught quite a few more than me. I caught the biggest of the day. So pretty nice balance there, which was nice. We both seem to have had a great time. I know I had a great time. He seems like he was having a ton of fun too. So yes, sir. he says, yes, sir. He's in there in the tent still. But uh, yeah, we've been uh, crushing him today. We got that catch and cook knocked out by before 11 even we had already ate our food and everything our fish and uh so got that catch and cook knocked out and then continued on to catch a ton of fish today so as you guys can see i didn't include all the catches that we caught but that's because we just caught an obnoxious amount and they're all right around the same size in this lake for the most part so i'm just gonna include or i just included like the most notable catches basically so anyway I, anyway guys excuse me english is tough but anyway thanks again for watching i'll see you on the next one and i'll see you on the water